What's the fastest way to create and deploy a database? I compared 13 different services to find out. In this video, we'll look at PlanetScale, Railway, Superbase, Firebase, Enhost, Heroku, DigitalOcean, Render, AWS, GCP, Mongo, Upstash, and Fauna. What I wanted to test was how long it took to go from a home page to log in to deploy the database and also have it provisioned such that I could use it. Now, this isn't a perfectly scientific test. Some of them I'm using login by GitHub, some of them I'm using login by email, some of them are Postgres, some are SQL, some are NoSQL, but it's a unscientific way of me understanding which ones have an easy onboarding flow. This is just one of many indicators of a great developer experience when building a database. The faster I can get started and get creating, it's likely an indicator of the rest of the UX or user experience of the platform. All right, let's jump in and start deploying some databases. In each test, I'll have a stopwatch in the bottom corner so that you can see how long it took to go from start to finish. And I'll have a summary at the end of the time comparisons for all of the different providers. If you don't wanna watch the entire process, you can also click below on the chapter marker in the description to jump directly to the results. Okay, let's go. All right, let's try Planet Scale. I'll start the timer now. I go into the dashboard, I create a database, we'll give it a name, a video, create database. I see in the bottom left, it's creating and it's done. Now let's try Railway. Railway allows you to create databases without having to sign up first. So you can actually make them anonymously and then claim them. So let's start the timer now. Command K, we will deploy a Postgres database. So it's setting up our project and it is done. So this is temporary. We haven't actually claimed it yet. Let's go ahead and claim it, log in use GitHub and claim. Nice. Now let's try Supabase, which is an open source alternative to Firebase where you can host your Postgres database. So I'll start the timer now, sign in with GitHub. I'll go to new project, put it on their Vassell org, call this video, password, just put in something random and hit create. And we are done. Well, we're not done. Our robots are busy building your database. Check back in two minutes. So let's fast forward till this is actually done. And we are done. Now let's try Firebase. I'm gonna stay logged in in this instance because you're probably already logged into Google, let's be honest. So I'll click get started now. It'll take me to the console, I'll hit new project, video, continue, uh, no analytics, sure. And it will kick things off. And we're done. Another Firebase alternative, which is called Enhost, uses GraphQL and it's built on top of Hazura. Let's give this one a shot. I will click on login. Again, auth with GitHub, create project. We'll call it my project, 14 day free trial. Put it in SF, creating project. I am planning to build a side project with Next.js on Twitter. And we're done, nice. Of course we have to try Heroku, so I've pre-filled my login information and let's get started now. I'll log into the dashboard. I will create a new app. We'll call this my video, blah, blah, blah. Create app. We'll go into our dashboard and we need to do an add-on. So let's do Postgres. And yep, I'm on the free plan, order form. Okay, well, I hope I don't have to buy anything here. Since I'm on the free plan, it's been installed. Okay, um, is it deployed? Uh, um, 
It looks like it's deployed. Awesome. A bit confusing, but next let's try DigitalOcean. So I'm returning to the site. It recognizes that I've logged in before, which is awesome. So I will sign in with GitHub and it will take me into the dashboard. I want to create a database. Let's do, let's do Postgres. Um, basic node, New York, sure. Database name, sure. Create database, go. And it's been created. Is it still provisioning though? Yes. Provisioning is usually completed within five minutes. Okay. I will fast forward until this is done. And we're done. Next, let's try render.com, which can do apps, databases, cron jobs, and a few other things. So I will start now, sign in with GitHub, will take me to the dashboard. I will click new database. We'll call it video. Organs fine. Okay. It is now provisioning the database as we see here. And we're done. Next, let's try AWS. So I will log in as a root user. I will probably poorly attempt to do this security check. Oh my gosh, I am really bad at these. I need an AI to do this for me. I will sign in. Okay, uh, SQL, RDS, yes. Why does that button not work? Oh, there we go. Okay, click on RDS and create a database. Create a database with a single click. Easy create, love it. Aurora, MySQL, yes, 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 create. I'm probably gonna get billed like $100 for this, but it's fine. Creating database, it might take a few minutes to launch. We've generated the password. Okay, so I will fast forward to when this is done. And we're done. And now I definitely need to delete this so that I don't get billed. <laughs> Next, I'll do Google Cloud. So again, I'll assume that you're logged into Google. I'll go to my console. It's gonna take me to my last project. So I will do a new project, okay? And inside of here, go to SQL. I need, why do I, why do I need billing on this project? That doesn't make any sense. Cancel, uh, it didn't put me on the right project. Okay, what? Um, okay. What? I'm so confused. So I created the Firebase database on Google Cloud through Firebase, but apparently it is not happy with my request today. So I'm gonna give this one a DQ. <laughs> Next, let's try Fauna, which is a serverless database. I will click log in, takes me to my dashboard, create database, video, region, United States. And it's provisioning. I'll fast forward. Oh, we're done. Next, let's try Upstash. I will start, click on my console, and go to create new database. Let's call this video. We'll put it in Iowa. Click all the things and create. And it will now provision the database for me. And it's done. Finally, let's try MongoDB Atlas. I will log in with Google. It will take me into the Mongo dashboard. 
I will create a cluster. Let's do the free one. I'll use AWS and the US. Perfect. Create cluster. Username, test, test. And I'll create a user. Connect. I think it might already be created. Um, sure. Yes, yes. Wait, I have to do this. IP address. Wait, no. I missed this toast. I didn't even notice this toast in the bottom left. Cluster provisioning. This will take three to five minutes. So, yeah. Interesting. I will then wait. I will fast forward until that's done. I'm going to try refreshing and seeing if it's just the toast or if it's still actually okay. So maybe the toast just didn't go away, but it looks like it was done. So I'm unsure if it was done faster, but we'll go with that time. And that wraps up looking at all the different providers. So drum roll, please. Let's take a look at the results. The winner of the time to database in minutes was PlanetScale with 10 seconds for a SQL database using Vitesse, their open source solution. As I mentioned at the start, this is unscientific. So we're comparing SQL, Postgres, Redis, NoSQL, et cetera. And it was mostly just to understand the DX developer experience and onboarding flows of using these different databases. But it was a fun experiment. If you want to see me make more content around databases, leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see. Thank you.